Hi, are you a one-sided player or a two-sided player? And if you're not sure, I'll help you figure it out. So if you take a look at this racket at the 11 o'clock area of the frame, you can see that there's a lot of wear. In fact, it wore through the bumper guard. And if I flip the racket over this way, there is some wear, but it's not as extreme. And so this is attributed to the wear on low shots. So typically it would be on a backhand volley when you're going down low and you're hitting a shot right there. So if you have this kind of wear on one side of your racket, you're probably a one-sided player. Have you ever noticed that you break your strings quite frequently, maybe more than other players? Well, it is attributed to the amount of topspin that you're hitting, especially on your forehands and on your serves, but it could be that you're also a one-sided player. So what is the difference between a one-sided player and a two-sided player? Well, a one-sided player will get in a ready position and will always have to have their racket facing or held in one way uh, in the palm of their hand. Whereas a two-sided player can twirl a racket around and use the racket in however way or however it ends up in the palm of their hand. Now that I've identified what a one-sided player and a two-sided player is, there's actually three types of one-sided players. So the first item we're gonna call feel. And this is the type of player that will hold their grip one way in the palm of their hand. And for some players, they're really picky about uh, the bump on one side versus the other side that's a little bit tapered. And um, so whichever side they decide to hold it in the palm of their hand, what's gonna happen is they're gonna be using the racket or using the racket in a way that the forehands and the serves will be hit with the same side of the strings. So that's gonna cause the excessive wear. And not to mention the wear at the head because of the fact that you're always hitting the back end with the same side of the frame facing the ground. So that player is a feel player. All right, so for a feel type of player, there is a way you can remedy the wear at the top of the head. And what you can do is when you replace the grip, and I would recommend doing this every so often for these type of players, uh, to take off the base grip, or you could even do it with the over grip. But what you want to do is pay attention to where you started the wrap. So in this grip here, I have it right here on this side of the butt cap. So what I want to do next time when I rewrap the grip is just flip it over and just start it on this side. So let's say if it started at the uh, bevel number one or maybe on bevel number five, uh, you could just do the uh, same thing, just make sure you start on the opposite side. So what this is going to do is uh, make that tapered side or the bumpy side on the other side of the grip. So now the player is holding the grip the way they normally like to, but then the wear is actually going to occur on the opposite side because of the fact that you wrap the grip that way. As far as the excessive wear in the strings for a one-sided player, well, there's no remedy for a feel type of player because even though you wrap the grip from the opposite side of the butt cap, that type of player is still gonna feel the grip the way they wanna hold it, which means that they're still gonna hit their forehands and their serves with the same side of strings, causing the strings to break more frequently. For the second type of one-sided player, I'll call this player strings. And this is for players that have a stencil on their strings. So they're using that as a reference to hold a racket by having the stencil face a certain way. So whether it be preparing to serve or preparing to return serve, let's say if this player is holding it in this fashion, unfortunately it's not gonna remedy the issue of uh, string breakage because they're still gonna hit their forehands and their serves with the same side of the strings. However, there is a way that you can remedy uh, wear at the head. So let's take, for example, this uh, stencil here. It's a stencil with a P, but you can see how the butt cap is facing down. So what you could do the next time you restring the racket is go ahead and uh, stencil the P with the butt cap facing up. So then that way they'll be, you'll be tricking the player and wearing the opposite side of the frame. However, this won't work if the player is picky about having the P uh, stenciled with the butt cap in a certain direction. All right, so for the third type of one-sided player, I'll call this player frame, because what they're looking at is something on the frame to determine how they're gonna hold a racket. So in this case, there's a label here that a stringer would typically put 
on the frame after stringing and let's say if it's on this side so what the player is doing is looking at that sticker to get ready or to prepare to serve so what the stringer could do is just reverse the label on the other side of the throat so then that way when they're holding the racket the next time it's going to even out the wear at the top of the head uh, it's still not going to alleviate the fact that the player will wear the strings on one side of the string bed uh, there could be a situation where a player has their own sticker, let's say something like that. Uh, but you may want to check with the player first before moving stickers around. Now there's another type of uh, frame player that will look at a graphic on the frame. So like, let's say it's that on one side and it's playing on the other. So let's say if the player likes looking at that graphic before getting ready. Well unfortunately there's no moving the graphics around on the frame. In summary, a two-sided player will more evenly wear the strings and the frame because of the fact that they can hold their grip either way. For a one-sided player, I shared some tips on how to even out the wear on the frame. However, there's no remedy for wearing out the strings if you're a one-sided player. The only remedy for that is to become a two-sided player. Thanks for watching, happy hitting, and let your strings play.